guys. Thanks so much for coming in for a video today. We're going to do a jewelry jar unjarring, and it's literally a jar today. It hasn't been a jar in a long time, so I'm super excited about that. I'm hoping it's a good one, and um, I hope you like this kind of content where we do talk a lot about jewelry. We do unjarrings, and we do jewelry hauls. I do a video series on Sundays at 3 p.m. Central all about selling, reselling, because I have um, a lot of background in reselling. So I hope you enjoy that kind of thing. And we're going to get started really quickly. This jar cost me about $20 because I do get a, a teacher discount daily as well as a senior discount on a certain day there at the Goodwill. And this was marked $29. $29. So yeah, I got it for about $20. And like I said, I was super excited. It's actually a jar today. I thought I would record it today because I'm having trouble with the internet again but they are coming in in a couple of days to take another look at it and we'll see what's going on with that I like the live videos a lot i know they're fun for for a lot of people so we'll get back to some live videos as well really soon so let's start with this pesky tape at the top that noise this is a pretty jar actually all right so let me dump this out and then see what's going on. Oh my gosh, those are really stuck in there. Ooh, interesting mushroom there. Looks like a fake. Looks like one of those fake Betsy Johnsons that we ran into last time. I don't, I don't know because they don't look very well made. But it's really cute actually. But yeah, I, I don't even know if it's marked Betsy Johnson or anything. But it kind of looks like it wants to be. Mushroom with hearts. This actually opens up, I think. It almost looks like it should open right there. Maybe not. And I'm not sure. Maybe it does. So, a pierced earring, kind of a, a wing, I guess. So I'm going to put that over here in the sorting area. It's a tiny little gold earring. It's a tiny little gold earring. And, yeah, I've been finding better things at this other thrift store, so that's why I'm kind of hesitant to, to buy the whole lot when they have them. But, I, you know, I was curious because it was kind of heavy. Oh, here's an interesting earring, a little frog. Um, here's a ring with an X and an O. Looks a little bent. It looks like it might say 10 carat or 925 or something there. Can you see that? This phone can work like a loop sometimes, guys. It's really amazing. It's actually better than my loop when I'm looking at the store. Yeah, it's 14K. I'm surprised they put it in there because in there because they do scrutinize their jewelry. That's pretty. X's and O's. And I will test that just to make sure to be gold. Nice. That's really cute. It's a little bent, but I can just put that through the mandrel. It's not, it's not hard at all to straighten these out if you just push them in here. And then twist, especially nice and straight now. Just twirl it all around. And we took that little dent right out of there. Yeah, five, five and a half. That's pretty. It's really pretty, though. It's kind of different. So that's nice. We found a little gold. Here's another ring. That's pretty. Looks like a cubic zirconia. It's nice, though. No missing stones, right? Very pretty. Very, very nice. Looks like it's marked as well. It's probably sterling. No, those are just the holes. Can you guys see the little holes? to bring in the light. I don't know. It could be sterling. It could be a high polish sterling. It's a pretty ring though. It really is. Not sticking either. Possibly sterling with cubic zirconia or something. And these are cute. Really pretty. I like these. It's a pretty color. Oh, these are the bracelets. Those little Asian bracelets. These have little dangles on them. These have stones on them too, but some are missing. And a stretch. 
that is really, really sticky. It is so pretty, but it is sticky and disgusting. I'll have to wash that. I like the colors on it. It's kind of pretty. Okay, and then here is a doggy. Looks like a boxer. Could be wrong. Earring, pretty. And some kind of crazy rubber bracelet. This is a pretty concho. Just a silver tone, but that's really cute. I like that. Very small. And here's a silver tone earring as well. Pretty gold ones. And they're marked. Look like it might say Monet there. They're in very good condition. Very nice color still. It says Monet, right? I believe it does. Yeah. Those are pretty. I like those. The little half hoop. Put them away. We did get a match. On, no, this is another earring. Wow. This is an articulated angel. <laughs> I thought it was the frog. Okay. We got an angel there. Probably the other earrings are going to be in the other jars. But I just didn't want to spend, you know, $60 all together. Because the other ones really looked like they had uh, a lot less metal. And they were a lot lighter. All right. We got a little tangulation here. And it is, oh, a little jersey. That's pretty. And this is an arrow with a, oh, this is cute, with some rhinestones on the tip there. It's pretty. More earrings. Some shell here. I think these were either going to be a bracelet or earrings. I don't know, because look, there's two. They're, they're very strange. I've never seen these up close. But there they are. So I'm going to put them in the gold earrings for now. I need a little earring that looks like sterling. Does it not look like sterling to you? It does to me. This really looks like sterling to me. I hope they have the other one in here. Over here. Oh, these are cute. These look like sterling as well. These are very interesting earrings. Yeah, that doesn't stick. Oh, I should have put the magnet on the other one. I already threw it over there. Here's another earring that looks like sterling. I look like it now that I look at it. It sticks from the back. And I think it sticks in the front, too. Yeah, it's not sterling. These do, though. These are pretty. They're very interesting. It looks like they would probably kind of hug the ear a little bit. These are cute. And these do not stick. Do you see any kind of mark on them, guys? I don't know if I do. I could swear they are, though. Hmm. These are really different. Yeah, I think they just... I don't think they would go in there. I think it would really ruin it. If you tried to squeeze that into there, I think that's just the way they are, kind of a free form. But I like these. I'm going to keep these. I hope I don't lose them. I'll have to see how they fit, and I'll have to test that. I have a feeling they may be sterling, for sure. A little stretch. These are JJ. They're all JJ. How interesting. And the, there's the hallmark of JJ there. So that's nice. We do have one pair matched up so far. We came out with a little pig. We still need the frog, and we got the angels matched, and they do look like pewter. So those are cool. It's engraved. CHB is what it says. Let me pull you back. Sorry about that. Um, not sure. It's so shiny that I can't even see if it has a hallmark or not. It almost feels a little... It's a pretty band. It feels It's so smooth. I don't know. Let's look in, Let's look close. But I don't see anything, guys. I will test it for sterling and gold. I don't see a mark on it, but it does have some initials on there. It's a pretty ring. It really is. Yes. All right. Let's keep looking here. We have some earrings. These also look like they're alone. Here's a pretty one, too. We'll see. 
We'll put them aside for a little while. Oh, we did find, no, I thought this was the Monet. It's another one. That's an interesting earring too. This is silver tone, I believe. Silver jar, and I think I had the other wing. So we do have that matched up. Silver tone, pierced earrings. And a little cute, oh, it's a little, this looks like sterling as well, and it is marked. Is that a, a raccoon, or I think that's a little raccoon, and it's hammered. That's really cute. I like the way it's curved, too. Can you see that? I'll put it over here. That's cute. Hope it has a match, because like I said, I left the other ones behind. <laughs> I didn't buy all the jars this time. WB. Warner Brothers. This really looks like silver, guys. But I don't see a silver Hallmark, but they're so cute. No, they don't scratch up like silver. Let me see this. Neither of this does. This is probably stainless. Okay. I like those. Okay, this is an earring. Oh my God, it was the end of a necklace here. That is huge. And I don't think, oh, yeah, here's the other one. The other one is stuck to the tape. Oh. Okay, but the other one's missing the hook, but that's an easy fix. They've got butterflies. They've got butterflies on one end and a flower on the other. Wow, they're bigger than my hands. Incredible, but I'm going to fix them. And probably put them in an earring lot. Oh, these are pretty. This is really pretty, but again, I always... Well, we haven't emptied the jar yet, guys, so I'm getting... I'm thinking, oh, we don't have the matches, but we haven't even emptied the jar yet. Here's another simple 80s type of earring. Here's an, an earring with a squirrel. We're into animals now. I wonder if it's not silver. Doesn't look like it. All right, a pretty little heart. That's pretty. No mark on, no mark on this one, but it looks like it is, and it looks like... Maybe it's gold, too. I'll have to test it. Yeah, that's got a nice, that's got a nice scratch, like silver. I think this one is. And I wonder if that's not 18 karat. I'll have to really look at that thing under a loop and test it, but I'm, that's definitely silver. Just from the scratch, I can tell it is. Oh, how cute is this? A little articulated Santa there. Her earring. This one's silver tone. Watch from Onyx, I think it says. Very small, tiny Ooh. shell ring. Some kind of shell or wood there. Interesting. Very big though for me. Doesn't fit but on my thumb. But that's pretty. That would look really nice. I like it. Lightweight and smooth and nice. Put that in the ring lot. The ring that matched this one. So I can pull that out now. So these are matched. These can go into the earring lot. These are really pretty. They really are nice. Okay, we do have the match for Santa. And these pearls, let's see if we... Okay, we do have the match for Monet with some hair. But they're very pretty, Monet. They really are. Someone with short hair. These would look very nice. Little huggies, I think they're called, these type. They're very pretty. A little rope design and very nice color still. And then we have a little orange choker piece there. Cute, cute, cute. And I don't think it has a maker mark on it, but it's very nice. Bangle. A little gold tone bangle. Oh, we do have this match. Good, because this is pretty. It looks kind of like angel skin coral. Really nice. Cute. And I'm so glad they're actually pierced. And they have little rhinestones. 
on that little flower. These are really pretty. I like that. And here's some more earrings. Here's that jersey that was stuck in there. Just a little leather cord. Really tiny. Pretty though. Pretty color. Some posts in blue. And we have a match. No, these are square. So there's some post earrings. And this is kind of cute. A little faux tortoise shell. And another gold tone bangle. And another Asian bangle. We did find the frog. JJ earrings and the frog. Yeah, there's a sign there. There's the hallmark on these and the leg. So we do have those matched up here. I'm going to put them in the jar and match them up later. There's some blue ones and a faux turquoise. Oh, it's missing a little bead there. Put that in the crafter lot then. And and we have a little necklace here with some silver hoops. And they're all plastic beads, black, silver tone. And here's some gold hoops. Bracelet with some tassels. That's interesting. It's got what design that is. Someone told me, now I forgot. That's kind of pretty. It's very new. Magnet, I believe. Oh, that's nice. It's got like a little hook and magnet, which is nice because those magnets sometimes don't stay on. That's a pretty bracelet, though. I also have the match to this one. That's good. We have some pearls. These pearls almost look genuine because of the shape. They are indeed. They are genuine pearls. Yeah. They are, so I'll put those aside. Match to this one. These are pretty, so that'll go in my earring lot. Well, at least they matched up some things. Here's some onyx and sterling. Tiny little earrings. I like the hooks. I have some earrings that need replacing. I almost want to take, well, one of the hooks fell off. I almost want to take these off of here and put them on there if I find the other one, maybe. We'll see, because these are so small. These should have been posts, I think. I don't know. They're just really tiny. Bigger than the, the hook's almost bigger than the dangle there. That's a diamond. No, you can tell it's not. It's pretty, though. It's just the setting looks really kind of simple. But it might be sterling. I have a zebra. A zebra. Does it belong in there? I can't tell. There it goes. Yes, it does. It's cute. It's a cute little dangle earring. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That <laughs> is so different. I'm telling you, the animals were in this jar. Some more posts. Some rows there. Lots of backs in here. Nice rhinestones on there. That's an interesting hook. It looks like it broke. Or maybe they made it. I don't know. That's, those are very nice rhinestones. And some more pearls, and I believe these are genuine as well. Look at that tiny, tiny back on that, guys. That is so small. These are definitely genuine. They might even be diamonds. I'll have to test them. Because that's a, that's a real pearl. And very nice. Look at that teeny thing. It's like they almost belong to a baby. This is a standard one over here. Let me see if I can find a standard. Or silver. Look. Look at the difference in the size. It's almost like these were for a child. Or, I don't know, just really delicate. Look. That's a big difference in in their size. These are definitely genuine. They are so pretty. And that diamond, that diamond does look real. It just doesn't look, if you look at this one, compared to the one I just showed you that I said maybe it's a diamond, but then it really looked like cubic zirconia. Sometimes you can just see that they're diamonds, you know, if if you get to looking at these things pretty often. See, this one almost has like a mirror. And this one doesn't. So we will test that. Where's a diamond tester? 
<sighs> I don't know where it is, but I'll let you know. I'm going to put it on for now. It's really pretty. I have to let it warm up anyway, so I will put that. Oh, I hope I find the other one now. What a shame if I don't. But we'll see. All right. Either way. Here's another. Oh, here's the matching one to that one over there. I have some tiny little diamonds that I got from one of Elizabeth's showcase. And I like those. But I just lost the back. I don't know how I lost the back. And I hate wearing them with the ones that don't belong to it. I'm afraid they'll get lost. We, get the, we did get the raccoons from Warner Brothers, I think. It says WB. These are really cute, though. Cute. These almost look like gold, too. There's something about the color that looks like gold to me. Let me look and see up close on these. What I see. I can't I know it's marked, but I can't tell if it's 14 or 10 or what. Or maybe even 925 gold wash, but because it is tiny. Right there. Right there. And I can feel it when I rub my nail against it. I'm gonna bring it up close, see if we see what it says. Can you guys see it? But it's definitely got a mark there. There it goes. There it goes. Gold fill GT. I don't know. 925. Very, very interesting. Again, kind of that Asian look. I know the name in my head, but I don't want to say it because I know I'll say it. Oh, we got the match to these. Don't have the match to that one yet, but I know I found the match to these a little while ago. So that's good. We'll put them all in the bucket for now. These cloisonne or imitation cloisonne, I'm not sure, have been matched as well. Two hearts, blue, really pretty. And I think we had the match to this one too. Okay, this is an interesting bracelet. These are glass, some kind of glass or dyed stone, very, very um, cold. And I don't think these are glass. I think these lighter ones are plastic. It's a pretty bracelet though. And then here, this is a really, it's like an abacus. How fun, look at that. That's a pretty color too. Antique, these little tassels are nice though. Really heavy. Really have to pull out some more stuff. There's a lot of bangles stuck right here in the neck. So I have to be a little careful. I don't want to get them all bent up. Oh my gosh, they really bent that up to get it in there. Look at that. They're crazy sometimes, I swear. How why would they do that? That is so crazy. I mean I guess you could bend it back, but yeah, you can. So you can slide the pendants in. That's interesting. I have to get my husband to fix that nicely. Here is the match to this one, I believe, or did I leave that there? We'll see. I'll leave it here for a second. Here is a really good bracelet. These are pretty colors on this one. I like that. There's a gold back. I don't know. It looks like, almost looks like it has a mark on it. Let's see. Because sometimes these are gold, guys. You have to really scrutinize them. Closer with the loop when I have the loop. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my goodness, I thought it was a pendant. They're earrings. They're really pretty. Little wings with some burst of rhinestones there. These are pretty. They're heavy, but they're pretty. These are pretty dangle earrings. I like these. They're very lightweight. Boxer earring. And some more of these. Oh, these are coming apart. So I'm going to put that in a crafter lot. And boy, these are all different kinds of designs. And very heavy, some of these. Here's another silver bangle. And some thin. I think this should have been an earring because I've seen some like this. It's got that little ring right there. I think that's what it was supposed to be. These over here. Gold one, gold tone. These are matched. These are very cute. Very, very nice. These can go into an earring lot. 
because these are very pretty. Please forgive my nasal voice. These are super cute. Roses at the top post and then a big hoop with even a twist. So let's hope we find a match. I hope we don't end up with a bunch of mints. Well, we've already gotten a few that are matched, so that's nice. These are interesting earrings. These are pretty. These look vintage. At first, I thought they looked a little bit like the Asians, the Asian ones we've been running into, but I don't think so because they're clip-on. Oh, my gosh, this thing's stuck in there. Oh, these are cute. Look, these are very pretty. They're swirls. They swirl around, and they have the little dingles, and then they have sort of a caged filigree design. They are really, really cute. See a mark of any sort? No. These are nice. I like these. I may put these in a vintage lot. All right. And we did have a match to this beaded earring. And this one as well. And then here's some of these small ones. Oh, now we have the other squirrel. Good. Crazy earrings. We do have the match to this heart that I think is sterling. But I could be wrong. I'm going to test them and match those up. And we did get a match to these that I said were kind of cute. Tagged from Park Lane. Necklace. Park Lane is expensive, guys. It's a pretty necklace. All right. Not bad at all, guys. For a $20 bag, we got some gold. We got this ring in gold. We've got this very, very pretty necklace of silver and faux turquoise. Park Lane. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is a, an attractive piece right there. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. So, what is this? I thought it was one of those magnet ones, but now it looks like it's a star. Looks like someone was going to maybe hang that on a necklace. These are beautiful beads, too. These are glass crystals or something. Look at that variation in these. These are super pretty. I like that. Now that would be a nice thing to put in a crafter lot, wouldn't it? Nice earrings. Oops. These match, I believe. Yeah, we did get some matching earrings, so that's good. Match on these, and I think these are in good condition. Don't think These are very lightweight, too, and I love these. When I've tried to wear these at one time, they're made so heavy, some of them, and I couldn't wear Da Vinci, kind of a Pandora for the masses, <laughs> kind of a, you know, silver tone, but it's pretty. It really is a pretty bracelet. Nice beads on there, upper bangles. I think I'm going to put this in a giveaway bag. It's pretty. A little cleaning wouldn't hurt, but it's still very pretty. My mother, my friend, how cute is that? And that is such a pretty bracelet. The bracelet's in great shape. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. They get kind of worn sometimes, but whoa. This one looked like it lost some feathers. Still throw that in an earring lot, though. Okay, here are some coin earrings. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, I love these. I love when that graduation works on the way down. You know, from greatest to least. That is so pretty. Hmm. I hope I find it a match. Here's a nice one. I think I saw this one through the bag. Oh, this is sterling. Yeah, it's a sterling with some cubic zirconia. You see the top there? And there's stars. My daughter's going to love this. If I let her have it, I may sell it. But that is so pretty. Look at those cubic zirconia stars. And it's sterling. Very nice. It's marked right there at the very top. 925. And it's a nice choker. And the jump ring is Hallmark too. Super cute. 
I may wear that <laughs> before I sell it or give it to her. We did have the match on those. Nice. I remember seeing these right away in the in the very beginning. And we do have two rose posts here. Earring. Gold tone. Kind of an antique gold tone. Cute. We did get the match on the sterling earring here. Teeny tiny ones, but sterling nonetheless. And onyx. Those are cute though. Some more matching hoops. Nice. These look like they're supposed to be a copper color. Ooh, look at these earrings, but this one's missing a rhinestone. So this will be a nice, either an easy fix or a harvest lock. Yeah, these are pretty. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. They do have a jump ring there. So they would go like that. That's very pretty. That is super shiny mesh type of chain. A nice color, almost like an 18 karat gold color. That is very pretty. I like that. That's a nice chain. I don't think there's any missing. These look like something that would sell on Posh. I think I really like the way those look. Here it is. These are cute. These are really cute. I think these could sell too. I'm going to have to take pictures of my daughter wearing them now because people have been asking me for how things look on, you know, especially the earrings, and I understand that. Turquoise. I don't think these are real turquoise, but we will dig a little deeper and find out. I don't know. There's something about them that looks like the matrix was added. They're still pretty, though. They really, really look nice. Anyway, they do have the look. So nice. Not a bad jar so far, guys. Really, I'm pretty happy with it. And all of these JJ earrings. we got the pig. We've got a frog and an angel. And they're all JJ. All match. So that's good. We do have those. Here is some shell. Necklace guide shell. And it looks like it needs to be repaired, though. Yeah, it's a long one. And it's really nice. It just needs a little bit of the colorations coming up. Oh, look, it's got a little bit of a Southwest theme going on, too. You can fix that up. Pretty colors in there, purples and pinks and silver. Very nice. And we do have the other earring. This one is not missing a rhinestone. So we'll probably try to find a replacement for that one and get that one listed. Here is another pearl. I don't know if this one's real. This is Avon, and they're pearls, imitation pearls, but pretty. Bangle we'll black, two of them actually. Those are pretty. I'll put those in a giveaway lot. I like the colored enamel. The enamel in gold, I like that. Oh, this is pretty. It's like a little shell with uh, some kind of natural green stones there. That's pretty. Match on this earring. I'm not sure where I left it right now, but I think I'll just put it in the jar for now. Here. These are pretty. Put those aside. And we did have a match on the rope. Well, we got the zebra matched up. Um, but I do think this one might be missing a piece. I don't remember seeing the big bead on that, but I'll look. That's really cute. Those are so different. Sparkly rhinestone or cubic zirconia. More posts. More backs. They're super cute. When I see all of these, I want to get like five piercings. I don't know why. They're just so cute. Uh-oh, we got the match. Thank you so much. Yes, we did. Oh, I'm happy about that because I don't know why I think that's a diamond. But I do. But hope springs eternal. And we did have the match here somewhere. Now, what did I do with it? The hearts. Okay, where the heck? The other hearts. More hearts. Hold on, it's here somewhere. It is here somewhere. Found it. Thank you, Jesus. Here it is. These two. Very nice. I'm going to have to test them. They're probably... This one doesn't have a back, but... Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it does. See, they're so small. The backs are so small. You can't hardly... You can't hardly see them. It's so strange. All right, so we do have a lot of nice pearl earrings. Two pairs of genuine pearls on what I believe are little tiny diamonds there. That one's not. So that's nice. Tassel necklace. It's a broken piece, but it's pretty. Very nice beads. Easy repair, so I'm going to throw that in one of my crafter lots. And we did find the other dolphin that is sterling silver, and it's very, very small. But we do have a match to that. So we will put those aside. We got a gold and silver bangle, gold tone, silver tone. But they look pretty together, don't they? And I think we found the other one to this that is marked but I could not tell if it was 925 or 14 k I really have to take a better look at it and test it as well. But we did get the match to that one. <laughs> but they're little chandelier type. Oh, I love them. They're so pretty. There's some nice earrings, guys. I only paid $20 for this bag. It was marked 29 so I'm really happy with it. I thought we, I mean, we got even a 14 karat ring here that fits me right there. These, this is also a matching hair in the jar. I'll get to that later. Here's the other earring that needs to be turned into an earring. And the other one is in the jar, right? So it just needs a little attachment there. Here it is here. So I'm going to put those in Robert's repair lot. <laughs> Roberto's repair lot. Yes. Okay, these are cute. We did have a match on these too. These rhinestones. And then this is a pair of earrings as well. Lots of paired earrings. I'm glad she's doing that. She told me she was really trying to do that last time I asked her about. <gasps> about Because she told me she was breaking up the bags and making smaller ones. And uh, But this time she had a jar, which was kind of strange. I thought, this is busted. I was thinking to myself, maybe they brought them from another store like that other store told me they were doing for them. Oh my gosh, this is like a skirt guys look at this wow somebody can really rock that out like a hula skirt here look at that that's nice i really think it's nice i mean wow you need not much else but a simple sundress and this that is really, really nice. Really nice. And again, lots of backs. Always like to look at them, though. Because <laughs> they might be James Avery. They might be Tiffany. They might be 14 karat gold. Okay. So I will look through all those backs later. That is really pretty, though. This mushroom is interesting. Uh, the gold ring. We didn't get the match to this one. I don't believe we got the match to this one, which is a real shame. But it was it, it was because it's very pretty. We did get the Monet match. We got all of those JJ ones matched up. So, and we got lots of pearl earrings. I really love these two. These are definitely sterling. I'm convinced. And they're so different. They remind me of something that Tiffany would do or, you know, a really accomplished design house. They just look that way to me. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to definitely try those on. And then this little number was really pretty, too. I love that. That was very nice. And lots of nice earrings. I mean, just really a, a good way to make $20 back on just one of these pieces, I'm sure. And the rest is gravy. <laughs> you know, like the 14 karat gold ring here. So we also got this beautiful, beautiful sterling. Very heavy. Cubic zirconia or something in stars here. I love it. So that was really cute. Well, all in all, guys, I think it was a great bag. I really do. Not bad for $20. I hope you'll come back and see me very soon. And be sure, guys, if you hadn't done it yet, to hit the subscribe button. 
and the notification button so that you can be notified when I do a new video, when I upload a new video, or when I go live. And um, I hope you hit the like button too on the way in or right now on your way out. And have a good one. Bye. Thanks so much.